The CoinSuries channel is pleased to have you back. Will the prices of other cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, Solana, and many more, skyrocket once they reach $50,000? Why is it the case, if yes? Please subscribe and watch the entire video, because we will explain everything in depth. Let's begin this discussion about other cryptocurrencies. According to recent news reports, the market has seen a notable uptick today in particular. The overall market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is $1.87 trillion, with Bitcoin alone topping $50,000. That was an 18% increase a week ago, and a 4% gain in the last day. We are seeing enormous inflows from all areas of the sector, and the market has seen a huge influx of $34.5 billion. As an example, MicroStrategy's holdings have been significantly outpaced by the spot Bitcoin ETF, which has only been operational for one month. According to James Butterfill, who has provided us with an overview of the current situation, the 55 ETFs that have been issued thus far remain unchanged, and the 1.1 billion US dollars that have already been poured into digital asset ETPs show no indications of slowing down. For the first time ever, Bitcoin ETFs are fetching a hefty premium on Wall Street. I think this is really important considering Bitcoin's direction and, even more importantly, the overall picture of cryptocurrency acceptance. That huge institutional funds are still buying cryptocurrencies despite the bear market is heartening and, more importantly, quite bullish for the sector as a whole. Moreover, there is more. The alt currency chart shows that all of the coins are preparing for a rise and have received enormous inflows of capital with a total value of almost $139 billion. A trillion dollars will soon be exchanged in the altcoin market. Considering how now altcoins seem even more hopeful than Bitcoin, which is approximately 3.67%, the argument is utterly absurd. After Bitcoin is taken out of the picture, the market looks quite positive. A possible correction or slowdown in the present movement could be indicated by the widening of the Bollinger Bands. Altcoins, on the other hand, are looking fantastic on the one-hour chart, therefore their downward trend should continue. What else is going on with cryptocurrencies, then? Why does everyone find these so fascinating? There are a handful of things, actually.